What's going on YouTube? Today's video, we're going to do some kicking systems. Now let's do the sit system where the object ball is on the short rail and your cue ball is on the long rail. As you can see, what I did here is rotate the numbers, but now it's going to be on the half diamond system. For one, it starts on the half diamond, the two is going to be on the first diamond, then you have two and a half, then you're three, three and a half, then you're four, four and a half, and then five. Where your cue ball lays, it's going to be on the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now let's go ahead and look at the opposite side rail. So this this diamond system is an increment of ten. This is your ten, your twenty, your thirty, and your forty. If your object ball was laying, say, on the fourth diamond, and your cue ball was laying on the first diamond, one times four is four. So if you hit the fourth diamond on the opposite side of the rail should be able to hit this nine ball. Say your object ball is on the third diamond and your cue ball is on the second diamond. Two times three is six. So you gotta hit the sixth diamond on the opposite side of the rail and you should be able to hit this, this nine ball. So let's go ahead and try this out and see if the system works. For this example, I have the cue ball on the second diamond, the object ball on the third diamond. Uh, two times three equals six, so I should hit this sixth diamond and I should hit this nine ball. So let's go ahead and move the object ball to the fourth diamond and let's get the cue ball on the third diamond. So three times four is 12. So aim at the 12th diamond, I should hit this nine ball. So the system works also on the long rail on the cue ball and your object ball on the short rail. What if the cue ball was on the fifth, sixth, seventh, or eighth diamond? Will the sit system still work? It does. One thing I know is about the sit system is when the cue ball is past the fourth diamond and your object ball is above the third diamond, you just have to hit the corresponding diamond. For an example, I have the cue ball on the fifth diamond and the object ball on the first diamond. Of course, you had you multiply five times one equals five, and then you, the object ball moves to the second diamond, five times two equals 10, but once it goes to the third diamond, five times three equals 15. What I like to do, I like to add two extra diamonds, making this a 17. If you look at it, five, 15 is here, and this is the third diamond. As you notice, it doesn't correspond. Add the two extra diamonds, it will actually hit that object ball. So what if it object ball is on the fourth diamond? Four times five is 20. You add two extra diamonds, making it 22. So 22 would be here. As you can see, it will hit the object ball full. And if it goes to the fifth diamond, five times five is 25. You add two, making it 27. And it'll correspond, making that object ball into the corner pocket. Let's go ahead and do some example shots. I have the cue ball on the fifth diamond and the object ball on the first diamond. So one times five equals five. As long as I hit the fifth diamond, I should be able to hit this object ball. Let's go ahead and move the object ball to the second diamond and the cue ball back on the fifth diamond. So two times five equals 10. Let's go ahead and move this to the third diamond and cue ball back on the fifth diamond. Like I said earlier, once, once you're on the third diamond, you gotta add, add a two diamond extra. So five times three equals 15, add the two extra diamonds, making it 17. So if I aim at this diamond, I should be able to hit that object ball. Let's go ahead and move this to the fourth diamond. Cue ball back on the fifth diamond. 
So four times five equals 20. You add the two extra diamonds, making it 22. And I should be able to hit that off the ball. And the last diamond, the fifth diamond. So five times five equals 25. You add the two extra diamond, making it 27. If I aim at the 27th diamond, I should be able to hit that outer ball. Let's go ahead and do another example where the cue ball is on the seventh diamond and I got the object ball on the first diamond. So one times seven equals seven. If I hit the seventh diamond, I should be able to hit that object ball. So let's go ahead and move this to the second diamond. And the cue ball back on the seventh diamond. So seven times two equals 14. Go ahead and move this to the third diamond. And cue ball back on the seventh diamond. Seven times three equals 21. Since you're on the third diamond, you want to add two extra diamonds. So that makes it to 23. Let's go ahead and move this to the fourth diamond. Ball back on the seventh diamond. Seven times four equals 28, plus two equals 30. And let's go to the last diamond, the fifth diamond. And cue ball back on the seventh diamond. The biggest thing is when you add, when you do the multiplication. 7 times 5 equals 35, but you add two extra diamonds, so you're looking at 37. If you notice, 37 is about here. You got, you got the side pocket. So you could actually aim right on the corner with exactly no spin, and it should hit that optic ball. What if the object ball lands on the half diamonds? For an example, I have the object ball landing on the 1.5, the 2.5, the 3.5, the 4.5, and your cue ball is on the 5, 6, 7, or 8. Are you going to be multiplying 5 times 1.5 equaling 7.5, 6 times 2.5 equals 15, 7 times 3.5 equals 24.5, or 8 times 4.5 equals 36? I have a faster way, and I'm going to be showing you how to do it. For this example, I have the cue ball on the sixth diamond and I got the object ball on the half diamond. It actually lands on the 1.5. The easiest way to do it is actually round up the numbers. 1.5 will round up to two. If you multiply two times six, that equals 12. If you line up the 12 and the two, if you notice, the track line goes right over the object ball. If you move, the object ball moves to the 2.5, you just round that up to three. Three times six equals 18. You line up your 18s, if you notice, it goes right over your object ball again. It goes down to 3.5, round it up to 4. 4 times 6 equals 24. Look at your 24, and again, it goes right over the object ball. You go down to 4.5, and you round it up to 5. 5 times 6 equals 30. So you track your 30. You notice it's a little short. But when a cue ball hits this rail, it actually comes in and will hit this object ball. I have the cue ball on the 6th diamond and I got the object ball on the 1.5. Like I said earlier, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to round it up the 1.5 to 2. So 2 times 6 equals 12. So if I hit the 12th diamond, I should hit that object ball. So let's go ahead and move the object ball to the 2.5 and 
cue ball back on the sixth. So 2.5 will round up to three. Three times six equals 18. If I hit the 18 diamond, I should hit that object ball. Let's move it to 3.5. Cue ball back at six. Round it up. Four times six equals 24. Let's go to 4.5. Cue ball back at 6. 4.5 will run up to 5. 5 times 6 equals 30. For this example, I got the cue ball on the 8th diamond and I got the object ball on the 1.5. Since it's in the 1.5, I'm gonna round it up to two. So two times eight equals 16. Six, if I hit the 16 diamond, I should hit that object ball. So let's go ahead and move the object ball to the 2.5 and cue ball back at eight. Since it's at 2.5, round it up to three. 3 times 8 equals 24. Let's move the object ball to 3.5 and cue ball back at 8. Round, round it up to 4. 4 times 8 equals 32. And let's move the object ball to 4.5 and cue ball back at eight. Biggest thing is rounding it up to five. Five times eight equals 40. If you notice this is your 48, 40 diamond. And this is where you gotta actually hit. So biggest thing is be careful for the point. I just did a brief explanation on the sit system. I think it's a great system. It's very accurate as long as you do not apply any spin on the cue ball. Stay tuned. I'm going to be doing more kicking videos. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe me. Don't forget to thumbs up. Bye bye. <laughs>